Hello, my name is Alex McLassen, and I'm a fourth year PhD candidate here in the Polymer Science and Engineering Department. I'm also a member of the Russell Research Group, and we welcome you here to the fifth floor of the Silvio Oconti National Center for Polymer Research. And we'd love to be able to tell you guys and show you some of the characterization techniques that we use in our lab every day, as well as also tell you about some of the work that we do here in the labs. So this is the Russell Group's pendant drop tensiometer. This is a very important instrument to our group and almost every member of our group actually uses this instrument as a characterization method. The way that this works is that a droplet of liquid is dispersed in an immiscible fluid phase, and then a video recording is taken of the shape of that droplet, which is then sent to a computer software program which calculates the droplet shape as a function of time, which can be used to calculate the system's interfacial tension as a function of time. So this is a characterization method that is used to typically probe and determine whether or not these different systems will be suitable for various applications. One of which that we will showcase to you now is liquid and liquid 3D printing, which is something that was pioneered by our group. And my coworkers, Chen Jin, will be able to tell you more about this. Hi, my name is Yi Chen. In Russell's group, we will use 3D printer to demonstrate some new materials. Here is the direct right air compressor 3D printer. In our lab, we more focus on the liquid-liquid interface. We do the liquid-liquid membrane since they can um, used for ionic transport and some um, chemical and physical like um, catalyst uh, applications. Here is an uh, experiment for aqueous aqueous printing to print a tubal like structure. Now, Ming Chiu Hu will show us something else in our lab. Hi, I am Ming Chiu Hu in the Russell Group, and this is the X ray sketching facility I use a lot for my research. It has an X ray source, the collimation system, a sample stage in the chamber, and a two-dimensional planar detector that can move on a track. That allows an easy switch between small angle and wide angle X-ray scattering. With the small angle scattering, we can look at the self-assembled morphologies of copolymers, and with the wide angle scatterings, we can look at the crystalline structures. Next, let's have a look at the atomic force microscopy together with Jan. Hi everyone, I'm Jan Chen, a fourth year PhD student in Russell Group. Uh, in our group, uh, we employ the atomic force microscopy extensively. Uh, this is a microscopy known for probing the surface topography with nanometer resolution. Uh, in our group, uh, AFM serves as a powerful tool to investigate the block copolymer thin film morphology in, uh, for nanolithography as well as the HC2 and in situ assembly of nanoparticles at fluids interface. And hope you enjoy this video and hope to see you in Rust group.